Hey everyone, and uh, welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if you're new here. Cheers for stopping by. So we are out on another camp. Um, a completely different setup this time. We practically moved the old camp around to be fair. You're not going to see much this time of night. But we'll run through it all tomorrow. Uh, Flax playing with the fire again. Somebody's got to keep us warm. Well, yeah. I'm not busy, I know. Eat in, man. <laughs> <laughs> Try an ease. Yogi uh, brought one of these up. Try the ease, he said. Well, yeah, yeah. Quite nice, to be fair. Um, don't normally eat beef, but there we go. Uh, yeah, so we've moved literally everything. The only thing we have messed up on is we got the tents facing away from the fire. That's because we're so used, because we actually moved the fire. Used to having the fire set up over that side, but never mind, you can't see it inside the tent. Anyway, we'll just pretend we can see it. Um, so yeah, going to get this down, this. And uh, I'm not sure exactly what's going to be happening, but we've got to sort that fire out by the looks of it. I can't remember what I say. You're excited to wake up tomorrow. Excited to wake up tomorrow, yeah. You didn't shout filming, that's what it was. You didn't shout filming. I said I was, uh, I'm excited to wake up tomorrow because I went into my local store and they didn't have the cheap porridge, so I had to buy Quaker cinnamon. <laughs> yes, and they didn't have mash either. Yeah, so I, no. I had to buy chicken and bacon. What you do have, yeah. Yay. Um, but what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, it's almost that time of night again, where we uh, crack out some beverage. So, I don't know, catch you, uh, catch you then. All right, yeah. Um, I forgot to mention something very unusual. It isn't raining at the moment. However. We can check on the temperature. Oh, that is, yeah, five degrees Celsius. Five degrees Celsius. Right, that's 41 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, if you use uh, Fs. I'm not gonna say what I said last time. Cause it's the same amount of cold, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I said, not much to see at the moment, guys. But uh, we'll give her a good tour tomorrow. But we will, however, be catching you for beer o'clock, and I'll show you inside the tent as well what I've got using uh, tonight. Oh, now she's stalked up. Um, yeah, this camera's dying rapidly fast, so start. Yes, it's that time of night again. Brothers, marshmallow cider. What have we got? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh -oh. disaster. Log slip. I think we all bought the same. I think we all bought the same. Purely accidental. It's not because we all like each other. No. Marshmallow. Hey, it's when we get matching underpants you want to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway... I wear my wife's knickers. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, guys. Um, yeah. Cheers, everyone. Ah, oh, these are epic. If you haven't tried them, give it a go. It's like drinking an old bag of marshmallows at once. Really nice. All right. Knocking on a bit more now. Check the old temperature. Ah, oh, st still about five, apparently. I think that's fair, Ben. 
I'll check it just before we go to bed anyway. It's only about, uh, what time is it right now? 10 o'clock actually. So, just chilling out with the fire. Give our one last check, show you why I go in the tent, and then uh, it'll be morning then. Alright, what's the temperature on the more accurate one? 3.9 degrees C. Ooh. That's, uh, yeah, I'll have to put that in Fs. Uh, as soon as you move from our fire, ooh, it's our difference. Alright, so, uh, let's get, in. oh, getting into bed now. It's, uh, they're pretty good in here, to be fair. I've got my two pillows and, whoops, and my, uh, Trespass 200 stuffy. Because I brought my British Army Bergen, but the trouble is the damn thing's so heavy. You can't put a lot in there, so I've had to bring a lightweight sleeping bag and a lightweight mat just to be able to uh, manage it. But the, this sleeping bag, I tell you why, I'm not snug as a bug in a rug in here. I am. No problem at all, nice and warm. So, um, right, I'll catch you in the morning, guys. Good night for now. Still haven't been asleep yet. Did have to go out there though. For a uh, middle of the night call. Whew. I don't know whether you can hear him snoring across the road there. Decided to sacrifice a pair of motorbike gloves. Because I've got another pair of these brand new. But I've been keeping it, so I thought, oh, why don't I just wear them? Oh, it's like wood stuff. Anyway, I'm just rambling. I'm going to try and get some sleep. Oh, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Oh. Um, yeah, what's it? What did you say? Uh, it is five degrees. It was five degrees now, but last night it was absolutely freezing. I mean, I was all right in the tent. I was all right. I was not, like, just all right. But uh, it's much warmer now than it was last night, that's for sure. It was really bad. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, so we're going to get up and it'll be breakfast time. When my... Uh, oh, actually... I'm wearing my new Magnum boots this week. What? By accident, I know. I had already had them on, didn't I? What? You don't wear them ever, do you? No. They are my bestest ones, they are my full leather. Not anymore. No. Yeah, yes. But I've had them... Seven years, five years, something like that. Uh, whoops. Right, anyway. Didn't realise I was still filming, so I will. It's all backwards now, it's camp, man. <laughs> it's weird. No. Strange, man. Oh. <clears throat> it's like being clever, look. Bought a set of knee pads. Ah. On the damp ground, see? Ah, right then, let's get up. Alright, so, uh, as you can see, we came up during the week and done a few bits, I'll show you exactly. The old fireplace used to be there, that's where we used to have the fire. But then we moved it, we thought we'd move it away from camp, so we've moved it over to here, over this way. And now we've got a rectangular fire and so we've had to build a wall there and we're just starting on two side walls 
by there so we can have this area and maybe put a tarp over the top. That's if no one trashes it in the meantime, obviously. But uh, yeah, spot the mistake. What we done when we were setting up. We moved the kitchen as well, by the way. We built a new kitchen. Everything is built so it's in line with the wind. But yeah, as you can see, we put the tents up facing away from the fire yeah so but uh, yeah we learnt pretty quick that we won't be doing that next time so Flack is just relighting the fire again again your heart is my only desire <laughs> we light my fire <laughs> Cause I need your love. There we go. Bit of entertainment first thing in the morning. Not sure what the time is, but it is breakfast time. Uh, still cold. Where's the old thermometer? Let's check that one. We got a digital one going over there, which is reads a bit better than this one. But let's see what we say. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two four yeah four to five on there that's about right though isn't it about right, yeah. you said it was for about five didn't it about five yeah it was three degrees when i got up this morning now Ooh. right anyway so we're gonna wait for that all our water to boil and we'll get food and coffee on all right so we've got the fire going a bit better now breakfast time and I'm being spoiled today, because like I said, I had to go to that shop. Whoops. Sweet cinnamon. Now, if I remember rightly, Flack always has these, but there's a big lump of, like, milk you've got to squidge up. <laughs> <laughs> and I think he's got the same. No, what flavour have we got? Oh. Yeah, that's the thing. I go into the shop and I pick one up. <laughs> Just one. Paying uh, one and a half bucks for it. Nor reading the sign that says three for two bucks. So, yeah, I guess missed out on that a lot, didn't I? But so, so he's got a choice of three, actually, what you can have. But, yeah, I got sweet cinnamon. Good job, I like it, eh? Okay. All right, so... I can't remember whether I mentioned or not that uh, I had the worst night's sleep ever because my uh, Amat decided to have a punch here. It's not my Amat actually, it's my daughter, so yeah, it looks like she's going to have to end up with a new one, doesn't it? Look how cool that is. That looks awesome. I'm going to get some photographs of that. I guess I'm on my uh, on my proper proper camera as well. Just take some as I'm going along here. But uh, yeah, anyway, our cattle's uh, singing a dance to me. So singing a dance, singing and dancing. Let's get a porridge on. Oh, right. So doing some more. He's doing work, I ain't. Doing some more work to the uh, side walls there. So pretty soon we'll have a log cabin. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we've got to remember next time to turn those tents around. And then it'll be perfect then. I mean, it's alright. You can't see the fire when you zip inside the tent. Anyway, can you open? We could hear it, so give us the impression it was right outside. So that was all right. We put four big, massive logs on that fire last night before we went to bed. Stamped them all down, so it like put the flames out, but just a bit underneath. We thought that'll smolder away now, and in the morning then we can just throw some stuff on it. Halfway through the night, it all burnt away. Mad, absolute madness. But um. 
yeah, like I said, we've just had breakfast now. That was really nice. Enjoyed that. I think I'll have a sweep up around the area. See, this area we don't really use anymore. See, there's what's left of the fire. We, we are filling it in as we go along. This used to be the area. Kitchen used to be... Oh, there. That's where the kitchen used to be. See, I can't even remember where it used to be now. But, yeah, it's great. So, right. Question, one, one man tent, one person tent. Did have a rip in the roof, as I mentioned in a previous video. I had a job lot of those. But it doesn't leak, it never has, so that's good. Um, inside is a bit of a mess at the moment. An absolute tip. Look at it. But I've got my Trespass 200 stuffy. Which, I, was, I wasn't cold last night, but I wasn't overly warm. Um, like I said, this mat then, that I've used numerous times... It's my daughter's mat. That's actually punctured now, so I don't know what happened. I think I ran through the rest of the stuff last night. British Army long back Bergen. Uh, the respirator pouch that I use to keep my rations in. Whatever I've got. But this flax tent, look, it's the Eiger Trekker. Um, yeah, he's got no complaints on that so far. Two tents, uh, two tarps by Ray. I can never remember the name. Ryako, is it? Yeah, Ryako. Um, yeah, but I want to show you something. Both uh, Flax said to me. Oh, I've got something, uh, yeah, I've got a gift for you off, uh, it's a bit of a long story, but someone involved in Flax line of work, I can hear his drone, someone involved in Flax line of work gifted us new headlights. So as you can see, they're unopened, but there's all the bump, all the info. Yeah, and you charge it there on the side. It's rechargeable, charge it on the side. Push the button in the middle. You've got a bright setting, which is bright in this daylight. And then it goes dimmer, dimmer, there's three settings on it, but uh, Yeah, well happy with that, so I'll have a gift, innit? Fair play. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Much appreciated if you watch this video. I hope they do. I think they do, to be honest. Or maybe not. But anyway, Flack will thank them for me. So, yeah, one exactly the same. So, awesome. Right. Um, I can open it now I've showed it on video. And have a good look at it. Because I have not, as you can see, I haven't opened it yet. I do have my open L, whoops, my open L number nine that my uh, mate the Reverend blued for me. The blade was blued as well, but it's had a fair bit of use now. But it's holding up on the rest of it. So, yeah, that's awesome. Right, let's get our head torch open. Ah, uh, not sure what's happening at the minute, but I'm sure we got loads to do. All right, check this out. This is kind of cool. Um, you pull this off, which leaves some sort of thing. And I was like, how do you charge that? How, how, how does that work? And then you push that out and you plug that straight into your computer or whatever. That is good. I like that. Nifty. Alright, just a little uh, coffee break. I'll show you how the wall's getting on. Look at that. 
Um, yeah, yeah, I just want to point out, I know some of you already know, but if you look at the gas canister I'm using, that's the ones for the weed whackers. They last absolutely ages, and they're only two pound at the moment, so less than three dollars. So that's awesome. Looking at that, that kitchen wall needs to go a bit higher, doesn't it? Because either that or dig a little hole for to put the gas can in. But yeah. If you haven't seen it, I also made like um, some guy ropes for it to go on that. So, you know, peg that out. But, uh, yeah, they're down there getting some dead trees. Only dead trees we chop. That fire though. Alright, guys, we'll catch you in a bowl. I'll uh, catch you in a bit for dinner. I see from this side you can't see the fire at all, which is uh, the old point of it, building that, because believe it or not, it's not very well used, but if you can see right over there, there is a bit of a track over there, so now and again you get the odd dog walkers and things come up here. Yeah? But that is completely hiding it. And the only other place you can see it from is right there because Flack went over to the road, over to the tire over there and, and I had a look at it. So we get that wall the same height. Be all good in the end, as they say. It's 60% in the camera now and that's power bank is uh, pretty much at it but there's the info on the power bank this particular one I'm using at the moment I think it's a five yeah five thousand uh, five million five thousand milliamp that's five amps so yeah it's pretty good actually quite a few year old not a lot of sun in you be honest to set it off but there's some motocross bikes just going across the mountain there uh, anyway alright then some of you may have seen this before but here's an interesting comparison look at these two stoves they are identical absolutely identical but one is made from brass and titanium the other one's made from brass and stainless steel. And one cost £35 and one cost £6. Left or right, guys, drop it down below in the comments. Which one do you think is the more expensive one? It is dinner time. And again, well, I say again, this is the first time I've... That's creamy cheese pasta in there. That's doing in it, and like I said, I had to buy the bacon and cheese perfect mash. This stuff is absolutely amazing from that uh, Walmart type store. Lovely. Try not to buy it though, because you'll end up buying it all and I'll end up with none. <laughs> so, yeah, don't recommend that, it's not very nice. But, I'm going to get this down us now. Just take it from here, see what happens. Oh, honestly, guys, like I said, don't try that mash. <laughs> I'm joking, you can try it if you want. Filming. You might like it. Yeah, I didn't shout filming, so <laughs> never mind. <clears throat> All right, coffee after this, and we. They're going to do some more work while I make coffee. Sounds fair. Oh, that's better. Check that out now. Just built the kitchen wall up a little bit higher, so there's plenty of room for that tall stove now. 
We just need to find a way of filling up the holes. We'll sort that out. Bit of washing up, and then uh, it's coffee. Call coffee first, bugger it. All right, so we are being treated at the moment, guys, to about seven degrees. Nice. Oh, bikes. All right, so it's almost time we're going to be start packing up soon, guys. But at the moment, there's still some work going on. It's coming along good. I'll um, I'll show you, show you the wall now in a minute. It's not far off a log cabin to be fair, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it is still dry. It's still dry out. That is amazing. It's almost four o'clock and it's gonna get dark soon, so we may have to stop work after another coffee or two. Alright, so we are losing a bit of light now, guys. So, just made a, another cup of coffee there in the new kitchen. Um, yeah, like I said, light is fading, so we're just going to pack up slowly and then make our way back. Um, yeah, so probably, probably a good point to end the video. And... If you did enjoy this type of video, guys, uh, subscribe for more, as we'll be out in colder weather than this. Right, cheers for watching. Stay safe out there, guys, and we will catch you on the... Whoops. <laughs> Alright, cheers for watching, guys. Stay safe out there, and we'll catch you soon for another video.